What's going on Port fans, welcome back to another video on my channel and today we're going to be doing another fixture throwback this week. It's supposed to be round 7 against Carlton. It was meant to be our 150 year birthday celebration game. We were supposed to be wearing the beautiful hoops Guernsey that unfortunately we won't be wearing this weekend due to the pandemic. But you can still get these from the Port store and they're absolutely sensational. Now, I've looked over all the games of the past 20 plus years that we've played Carlton. and not too many that have been um, uh, all too exciting or games that end up being on the good books for us. There was one particular game that does stand out and it's for a particular player performance that makes this game stand out the most and it's going to be our fixture throwback for the day. Round 7, 1998. Yuskis. Down towards half forward, pulls the target. Tread Ray goes back and did very well. Yes, that's right. We're going to be reliving Warren Treadray's eight goal game against Carlton. Frankly, as I said, round seven, 1998. So exactly to this round 22 years ago. Warren Treadray booted eight goals, which still to this day stands as a career high for him, obviously, because he's retired, but also. It is a record eight goals, which uh, is in the record books for a player for Port Adelaide kicking the most goals in a game. So eight goals is the record. Equals with Jay Schultz's eight goal bag in 2014 against the Dogs. But Treadray's day, obviously, he was a youngster. Um, this was his second season in the AFL. Um, obviously playing with the Magpies beforehand and dominating, winning a premiership in 1996. He's got countless records as Treaders. And very soon we'll go over his career as a uh, legend series that will be coming up very, very soon. So make sure you look forward to that. But on this particular day, it was a, a Port Adelaide day. Um, we ended up smashing Carlton and Treadray's performance just stood out from the rest. He had 22 disposals. He, has, he had 17 marks, obviously eight goals and just absolutely dominated the Blues. Oh, wow. They've obviously struck up a friendship. Oh. Evans goes in short and finds Treadray. And 55 metres out, long bomb, waiting behind, Treadway again, blew us away. Well, he elects to kick, too much carry for Evans, but Treadway, somebody should take a towel out for Peter Dean. Nash the mark behind, Treadway is running for space, the kick goes in that direction, Treadway set up. And that's a mark. The mark. Yes. What this game not only told us more of, um, it not only said that Treaders was going to be a star in the future because he got a rising star nomination for this particular game and obviously playing not many games uh, throughout the rest of the 1998 season because on this day he did in fact dislocate his knee which started a career full of knee injuries and setbacks that I reckon held Treaders back so much more than what we would have seen. Yeah, he still had 250 plus games. He still kicked over 540 goals. Premiership, countless All-Australians. But I reckon he would have made that 300 game mark. He would have kicked 650 plus goals and he just would have been, um, I don't know, I think he would have been regarded a lot more than what uh, was showcased throughout his career, even though it is so highly regarded between us Port fans and the South Australian football community. As it's going to hit the square, the big men are up, and there he is! Warren Treadray, take a bow, son. Meters in the clear, runs through the centre, long kick down towards full forward, Treadray again. Port Power, they rove at Lyle, kicks in the centre half forward, that's a perfect kick. That is an absolute perfect kick. Six games rolled into one here. The one game is going to beat the six because he's picked up his eighth goal. Eight goals to Warren Treadray and Port Power just march on. I just want to mention the green, or not the green, the teal socks. No, no, the rest of that Guernsey is actually sensational looking, but the teal socks just never worked. Never, no. What's very interesting about Treadray is, um, and playing Carlton and absolutely dominating him, is at the end of that season, there was a lot of talk um, during that stage that Treaders wanted to leave. And it's it's big, it's it's actual fact that he's got, he said it himself, that he wanted to go to Carlton. He's had meetings, even with Collingwood, uh, Malthouse, he had meetings with, um, but he was very much on the verge of joining Carlton. and. Uh, it wasn't until Mark Williams came in and said, look, you're going to be centre half forward. It's your place to lose. That um, Treaders stayed faithful to Port Adelaide. And obviously being a Port Adelaide boy, 
Um, you know, that made him all the more happy. But I'm so glad he ended up staying with Port Adelaide because he's such a treasure, such an icon to the Port Adelaide community. And that specific day is what launched Treadray into the stratosphere of becoming one of the best center half back, center half forwards to play the game. Well, poor fans, that is just a little bit of a fixture throwback. It was very hard to pick uh, a Carlton throwback because we've had a couple of good games, you know, but majority of them have actually lost the close games to Carlton. Um, we've smashed him by 100 plus points multiple times, but, but nonetheless, I hope you've enjoyed this video today. Let me know if any more fixture throwbacks you'd love to see in the coming weeks. Uh, make sure you also subscribe to the channel if you're new for plenty more Port Adelaide AFL and AFL Evolution content coming your way during isolation period. A lot going on at the moment with the AFL and deciding when to start. So hopefully there is a start to the season uh, very, very soon. But until then, try our best to keep ourselves occupied. Make sure you stay safe, stay healthy. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. My name is Anthony, Port fans, and as always, count the pair.